loves welcome back to my channel so today's video i want to come to you really quick and show you guys this new technique that i saw on youtube on how you can hide the knots on your uh lace wig as well as tint the lace at the same time in basically less than a minute okay this technique is super easy so if you guys are interested to see exactly how you can hide the knots without bleaching it as well as tinting the lace then definitely keep watching this video the hair that i will be demonstrating on is from the company yswigs.com i have their 360 frontal wig uh, the texture is a curly texture um, the density is 180 percent as you guys can see this is exactly how the wig looks straight out of the box the hairline does come pre-plucked a little bit uh, also the inside of the wig it does come with four combs as well as adjustable straps in the back the first step that i'm going to do is uh, before i install my wig is go in and hide the black knots on my wig as well as tint the lace now this uh, wig did come uh, slightly tinted I think that the color was like a light brown to medium brown tint but it still was not dark enough for my complexion so I've been seeing this on YouTube so I definitely had to try it out so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you can easily bleach the knots or hide the knots on your wig as well as tint the lace at the same time in like seconds okay so the product that I will be using is from Sally Hansen and it is their airbrush legs spray. Uh, you can pick this up like from Walmart, Walgreens, any pharmacy store or whatever. So basically this is a leg makeup and I've been seeing it on YouTube how you can just actually just spray this on the um, on the lace. If like you have like a lace front wig or 360 wig or whatever and it will hide the knots as well as tint the lace so the color that I got is a medium glow which is like the perfect match for me okay so this product is water resistant so what supposed to do is actually spray it on the lace and you're supposed to like spray it maybe like a few inches away because it can get messy which i did notice because this when you spray it it sprays everywhere so you want to make sure that you're focusing the spray on the uh lace and just making sure that you don't spray too close because if you do spray too close then it will seep into the holes on the lace and then it will get on the hair so if it does get on the hair, all you have to do is kind of like spray the hair or the um, the lace with water and before it dries and it will come um, easily off. OK, so that's exactly what I did. I just made sure that I went in and sprayed the spray a few inches away from my wig. And I actually used like a blow dryer to dry it and it dry like super fast when I use the blow dryer. And I would definitely have to say, hands down, this is an awesome product, you guys. Awesome. Like, this definitely beats me having to bleach my knots, waiting for it to bleach, 20, 30 minutes to bleach, and then going back and using the purple shampoo, purple shampoo to tone it, and then having, having to go in and tint the lace. Like, it's a process when it comes to trying to customize your wig, but if you want, like, a quick fix, you can definitely use this the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and install this wig onto my head now i do i will have to say like with this 360 wig it did fit really good okay um i didn't have to go in and install an elastic band if but i could if i wanted to but because i was using the got to be gel to lay down the front of my hairline i really didn't have to use a uh, elastic band now i did get the wig in like a 21 and a half head circumference which is exactly my head size and it does fit really good okay so the next step that i'm going to do is go ahead and um lay down the front of the hairline and as you guys can see the uh, airbrush spray did a really good job like it matches my skin tone really good and it um and the knots are hidden which is really good as well so 
yeah, I just use just a little bit of the got to be gel around the front of my hairline. I let it dry like normally, like, you know, get tacky. And then I laid the front of my uh, wig down. And I also did go in with a scarf to tie it down a little bit more. And I let it I, I think I left it left the scarf on for about 10 15 minutes so while I have the scarf on what I'm going to do now is go ahead and brush out the hair and as you guys can see this hair is wild but it it does okay the water when you guys see me put the water and use my brush to define the curls like these curls are ridiculous okay these curls are so amazing so the first thing I did, I, I used a powder brush and I brushed out all of the hair. And then what I did was I kind of took the hair in sections and I sprayed my uh, spray bottle, which is mixed with the uh, Aussie moisturizing conditioner as well as some water. And I only actually had to use like one pump of the Aussie moisturizing conditioner and then I mix it in with the water and the spray bottle and then I just took sections and I sprayed all of the hair and then I used my dimming brush I brushed uh, the hair through and with the dimming brush it defines the curls as well as distribute all of the mixture throughout the hair and then I actually let the hair dry and this is like the final result of how my hair looks after I use the spray as well as uh, use the brush now after I did that what I'm doing now is going ahead and taking off the scarf and as you guys can see that front hairline is laid okay completely laid so I wanted to give you guys like a close-up of exactly how the lace looks or yeah this it looks like scalp you guys i'm so glad that i picked up this spray bottle and i would definitely have to say this wig from yswigs.com is amazing you guys i love the curl pattern i love the way this hair looks it's just like the right density is not too full and it's not too thin um another thing i like about this wig is of course like I said the curl pattern um, I did have a little bit of issues with shedding and a little bit of tangling but once I used my moisturizer conditioner in my water and the water um, I didn't have any issues uh, after that so if you guys are interested in this wig I will leave you all the information down below in the description section as well as give you guys uh, exactly what the product name is for the airbrush uh, spray that I use on my wig so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments leave them down below I just want to say thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and then make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Shayam Moore and I will see you guys in my next video bye